Fire in the hole! Welcome to our President's Day cookout. We're having bison burgers at long last. I'm going to find out what a bison burger is all about. So please, stay tuned. Oh, cedar plank bison burgers, by the way. Okay, and we're Be right back. back. And my grill is up to temperature. And I'm going to lay some onions on there. Got some uh, regular burgers I'm going to make too. Can only fit three onions though. So I'm going to put my uh, bison burgers on there on top of those onions. But I'm going to hit them with some uh, some of Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso first on both sides of these nice looking bison burgers. That's one side of that one. Put that on there. Hit it with some of that Midnight Espresso on the other side. Get it. Now I got two bison burgers. A package of bison is only 12 ounces. Cost ten dollars. And uh, it's kind of expensive, I think, but for two burgers, they better be good. So we get that Tango Spice on there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get some regular burgers going too. And I'm going to put some uh, Slap Your Mama on them. Slap Your Mama's good. And i got to get some more onion going. I'm going to put the, uh, put the cover on that and let her rock. See what happens. So please, so to go on my burgers, I got some uh, thick cut Guayer cheese that I cut myself. And I got some regular cheese, oh excuse me, for the other burgers. And some blue cheese for my wife's. And I got some of that infamous banana sauce, hot banana sauce. Smoky Goodness is always talking about. And we're going to try that on my bison burger as soon as it gets cooked up a little bit. I'm going to melt that cheese on there. And uh, I'm going to bring you back to the most important part of my video, which is going to be my last video for a while because uh, tomorrow I'm going to the hospital for surgery on my hip and I'll probably be out of commission for about five weeks but I'll be back someday and I'll keep cooking stuff up but let's uh, check on those burgers and then get a beer in me so please stay tuned alright my bison burgers are looking awesome so I'm gonna put some of this guayer cheese on them I'm gonna put some uh, on that regular cow burger, a little bit of the old sharp cheddar, melt that on there. And then for my old lady, who only likes blue cheese, I'm going to put some blue cheese crumbles on uh, this one for her. Normally she won't eat uh, cheese at all. I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to melt some blue cheese on there for her. Can you see that? Guess not. There you go. Got your blue cheese piled up on there. I'm going to put the cover on that. Cook those up. I'm going to have a beer. So please, there's the Frosty Root Boy mug. And I got a very special beer for myself today. I have a fixed gear ale. Fixed gear. God knows I fixed enough gears in my life. It's time for me to drink one. This is a red ale comes from American Red Ale. I have no idea about this. Let's find out. Let's see if I can keep my perfect record of not spilling a drop. And so far, so good. Red Ale, baby. How do you like that? Look at there. Whoa, that looks good. That's dark. Hardly any head on that. Look at that. And it's cool enough out today that my Frosty Root Boy mug is maintaining its frost. So let me take a swallow of that. I'll let you know. Mmm. That's good stuff. That is really good. I don't know who got me that, but that's good stuff. A red American Red Ale. Where does that come from? Lakefront Brewery Incorporated. I don't know. It says if it's red, it's bold, and it tastes damn good. Well, it is. It tastes damn good. 
Good stuff. Okay. Let me put together a uh, bison burger with some of that uh, banana sauce on there and show you what that God, looks like. I got like. my so bison please, burger tuned. with the guayer cheese all melty on it. I'm put some of that hot banana sauce on there, which I hope is going to taste like the hot ketchup that I have, the Heinz hot ketchup. A little leery of it, so I'm not going to put a whole lot on there. I'm going to give that a cover. How's that look? Does that look good? Let's give it a taste. See what it tastes like. Bison burger. Oh yeah. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's outstanding. That's wonderful. Man, what a great flavor. Mmm. Excuse me, my mouth full. Well, that tastes great. That banana sauce is great. The bison burger is excellent. I highly recommend it. If you get a chance to try it, go for it. Okay. See you in about six weeks, maybe. I don't know. Maybe less. If you like this crap, please subscribe. I got five to go, and I got 200. And I'll have a contest from my deathbed. Or maybe I'll have it right here from the backyard. Anyway, thanks for watching. See y'all later. I don't know when. Someday. I'll be back. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to put some uh, promos at the end of this video. In fact, I'm going to put them in the middle of the segments. The first one will be Smoky Goodness. Then you'll see Tom's Test Kitchen, where you'll learn how to boil water. And then you'll see Smoky Ribs. And that guy is just a phenomenal cook. You're going to love him. So please watch his videos, watch these three videos, and subscribe to their channels as well. Thanks a lot. Root Boy out. the Tom's Test Kitchen. Here you'll find some really awesome recipes. Want to know how to make a sandwich that you saw on TV? Uh, the Yardbird sandwich. You want to learn how to make bacon from scratch? Pork belly to the frying pan? This is your place. Tom's Test Kitchen. Want to know how to boil water? Gotta go somewhere else. So this is Tom's Test Kitchen and I'm Tom.